This Guys, is so sad. Just make up. Make out. Wait, Maki, anything. Maki hates it. Run! Run it's a run. bomb! Hey! Oh! Hey. Oh, we're gonna get, get out of here! We're doing the Dang and Rampa! Here I am. Yeah. Monokuma. What are you doing here? Why? What are you doing here? Good guess. <laughs> I've got business with you guys, of course. Another reward. Dude, oh. we might see Rantaro's lab, finally. Yeah? What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay. Can do. Hmm. You're being awfully compliant. Oh, yeah. He's never not. Of course. I can't refuse you all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Oh. Outnumbered? So I mean he doesn't have other spares now or what? No. There's, I think it just means oh, the mono just the mono kids are gone. Yeah, can they even use the exosols? Yeah, can he now? It's a good question. Didn't seem like it. But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. <laughs> anyway, here's your prize this time. I love that voice line. Which one? The knee <laughs> 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 is the last real key, and this one is the real last key. What? Okay. That's too complicated. Well, what's the difference? So labs we haven't seen, Kokichi, but it might just be that like white door thing. Kaido. Right, probably Kaido and the rest, Rintaro. Yeah. I wonder if like through traditional story means, Shuichi wasn't meant to be the protagonist any more than Kaede was. I wonder if, like, Rantaro was supposed to, like, kind of be our representative of our protagonist. Mm. But, obviously, that didn't work out. <laughs> he got deaded. So, I don't know. I wonder. I... Why does Monokuma look kind of funky in this picture? He's having fun. <laughs> why are his eyes so close together? He's... I don't know. Now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye, Onara. Oh, really, bro? Who, who said that? Angie. Oh, that's so what mean. Do do? Oh, God. If I ever had to do any of those old voices again, I'd crap myself. Well, you'll have to later. So, what should we do about this new area? Especially if we do their, like, free time events, right, you know? Right, that's, that's what I meant. I don't know any secret spoilers. Uh, well, in the second game, I know we had to, because they all show up for, like, a brief moment yeah, at the yeah. end of the game. I think we should prioritize searching for that new area over searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Why? So you're saying humans are a low priority, typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. What? Um, I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. Hey. <laughs> she's trying, you know, she's trying to keep the spirits up. <laughs> Himiko has no other friends besides Tenko. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do, Kaito? I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time. That kind of is, though. Yeah. All right. Our first priority is to solve the mystery of this academy. Let's investigate. I'm very curious to see if we'll have, like, uh, training tonight. You know? Kaido's mad at us, man. Yeah, but, I mean, you can't skip out on training. He's also dying. Yeah, but also, you know. Yeah. It's the homie activity. All right. Uh, I'll hold on to that. Okay. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaido placed the key into my palm. Just one of them? Isn't there two? I don't know. Kaito? Shuichi? What's the matter? You both seem different today. Well... Read the mood, Kibo. It's fine. So let's go already. <laughs> Maki's so, like, social now. Maki telling Kibo to read the mood? Yeah. <laughs> we split up and began our search. Wait, who has the other key? Oh, we got both. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh... Monokuma door, I say what we should try. Yeah, that seems like... It's that and maybe the library? Is there any other doors we don't know about? Maybe if we keep trying to go up into the building. Yeah, I mean, we saw there is... Oh. Oh, wow. I'm guessing it's this door. It just looks like a Kokichi door or a simulation type door, but we've already seen that. Right. If you look, you can kind of see, like, the outlines of buildings in it. Okay, like a reflection thing. Yeah, so I don't know what we'll find in here. Hmm. And it looks like Kaido's still upset with you. Get over it. Hey, Shuichi. He needs to get over himself, but you should think about his feelings too, Shuichi. Dude, I'm, I literally saved all your lives. Like, there's no reason to be mad at me. Maybe that mentality is the problem, though. Um, 
Like, well, yes. dead then. <laughs> like, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Fair. What happened to Gonta? No one could sort out their feelings in just one night. I mean, Shuichi was very, like, pleasant about it. He wasn't, like, mean, like, no, it's Gonta, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. He was like, guys, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it makes sense. It's Gonta, Gonta, listen to me, buddy. I'll I, help you through this. The biggest thing it makes me wonder is if Kaido might see Kokichi's influence in us, you know? Because mm. I'm sure that it's, it goes both ways. Kaido's but, influenced us, Kaede's influenced us, Kokichi. Also very interesting, those like three big people he's closest with have K's in their names. <laughs> like, true. I what, don't know. What I, I thought was funny is the first three killers have K's in their names. Kaede, Kirumi, Kyo. Uh-huh. Just like, a coincidence, but I realized that editing one video, it's and like... And then, huh. technically, Kokichi. Because Golta... K- k- kinda... So, with that in mind, who do we have left with a K in their Kaito. name? <laughs> Kaido. And Kibo. And Kibo. K1B0. I wonder what the K1B0 could mean. Yeah, they a lot of K names. Like, what's the deal? Well, let's... Okay, I'm putting my, my foot in that prediction, then. That it's either Kaido or Kibo who are the killers next. Okay. I think there's got to be some... Because this is a game all about symbolism and hidden meaning and this and that and this and that, you know? If you have a name with a K, you're evil. Mm-hmm. You're evil and bad, and you should just go lock yourself in a cell. Sorry. Hmm. <laughs> I, li- I like... I'm, this is interesting. Kevin. Kevin. I'm looking at you, Kevin. Yeah. Carl with a K. Ew. Carl should not be with what a K. What are other K names? Christopher with a K. What'd you say? Christopher? You ever seen it spelled with like, a K? I feel like you're reaching a little bit. Yeah, I've seen it spelled with a K. I guess Chris, I've seen Chris with a K a few times. I know girls with K names. This isn't important. Let's just continue. Kimberly. Ew. Looking at you. I'm sorry, everyone's so sensitive. Maki, you and I are homies, right? Mm. Hey. I wonder where Kokichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. No. I'm not sure. It's possible that he's always on the move to avoid being caught. That punk. That guy's really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. But I'm not any better. I take people's lives for a living. Hey! Don't say it like that, Maki Roll. You're facing your past self. At least you um, get money out of it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Unlike Kokichi, he doesn't even want to try and change. It's the worst decision you can make. You're right. True. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, so. Screw you, Kaito. Get out of here. <laughs> Guys, so just make up, make out, Wait, Maki, anything. Maki hates it. She doesn't agree with it at all. Well, because she's still getting along with both of us. Like, what? How do you deal with that situation? Let's say you're like best friends with two different people, and all of a sudden they hate each other. It's like, hey guys, I, I don't. No, 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 no. I don't think we hate each other at all. I think I, I'm I saying like I know we don't hate each other. It's just very awkward right now. But imagine that situation. Like, being the one in the middle would be so, like... Also, this room, if you look at the minimap, it's a big circle. Like a trial room? Yeah, or like a tower, maybe? Anyways, talk to Kaido. Hey, Kaito. I'm sure I'll have a lot to say. Hi, buddy. Hey, bro. Say something. Kaido still won't look me in the eyes. Maybe he'll look me in the lips. <laughs> Talking to him is going to be awkward. Engage isn't helping. <laughs> <laughs> Unlock uh, that door. All right. It's the future one. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Last real key. Click. It's unlocked. All right, let's go. The key, it's still here. Can it be used for something else? Okay. okay. Weird. Spiral staircase. I oh, wow. This is future See a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Where does the staircase lead? I'm gonna go find out. I bet there's a hidden Monokuma somewhere, though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Keep your little eye- eyeballs peeled. Do we actually go up the stairs? Oh, we do! That's cute. Look oh, out you the can windows. See, you can see the, like, cage outside. See if you can peek out the window a little bit. Look at that! Alright. Oh, it's the ultimate astronomer's lab. Or astronaut's lab. Oh, that would make sense. Oh, yeah, yeah you're, right, you're right. This is a pretty long staircase. Where does it lead? I bet it's like an observatory, then. Do you think it's actually of space? And it might be like the proof but not proof we're in space? That's a good theory. I don't know. Phew, finally reached the top. <laughs> I feel as if there's something they hate there. It's best to be cautious. Well, it can't be Kokichi. Yeah. 
This looks like a little kid's, like, wallpaper. <laughs> Is this another ultimate lap? Then it must be... Got it. Finally! Looks like this is my research lab. Yeah, because that's always a good omen. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Kaido! Yeah, those stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a piggyback ride. <sighs> you made us climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? Hey! What do you mean, just? This is the main stage, and it's finally been revealed. Hey. I'm tired. Hey, someone, give me a piggyback ride. No, I'm going to kick you down the stairs. <laughs> Anyway, let's go inside. There might be something useful in here. Probably. Don't screw around. What do you mean, probably? It's got to be full of super important stuff. Hey! Isn't anyone going to give me a piggyback ride? I'm tired too, girl. I'm not going to give you a piggyback ride. Um. Uh, let's go inside then. <laughs> okay. All right. Sorry, Himiko. Would you give Himiko a piggyback ride? I try. You try? Yeah. Probably weighs too much. This is a big area. This is a weird area. Also, Cockpit. you can't see into space at all. It's just walls. Yeah. There's lots of weird devices here. Let's start looking. Uh, what's the window? There's a window. I can see the school in the courtyard. Just a window. It's pretty high up, but I guess that's obvious from how tall that staircase is. Hey. Looks like this is the top floor. How can they afford all this, but not an elevator? Like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Inflict despair, dude. Dude, someone's gonna die on the staircase. Oh, I like that idea. So, my room's at the very top. Then... Yeah? So what? Dude, you're so sick, you probably won't be able to climb up here all the time anyway. <laughs> yeah. You made us climb all those stairs just for a room that looks like a playground. I feel like this was a huge waste of time, <laughs> but let's look around for anything useful. I thought you'd be more stoked about Kaito's lab. <laughs> because she likes the man doesn't mean she likes everything else. Yeah. No! Say anything! Let's look at the cockpit. Hmm. This is amazing. It looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. Mm. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You. You can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Ah. You know, what if it isn't, though? Isn't a simulator? What, like, if it actually steers? Assuming we're in a big spaceship, like, the whole thing? Right, it could actually just, like, be the thing that drives it. Haha, ha, I'm gonna fly into the sun for fun! Do you think, like... <laughs> think what? <laughs> uh, you threw me off a little bit. Sorry. Uh, no, it's okay, I like it. <laughs> Do you think what Gonta and Kokichi saw was, like, a destroyed Earth to our left? Oh, like, so, like, it really was just a window? The secret to the outside world? I mean, the games are always pretty literal, you know? Yeah. So, I wouldn't be surprised if it's literally just, like, a porthole. And it's like, oh, the whole Earth destroyed and is crumpled up below us. Okay. Hmm. And Does that just... really mean it's, like, worth dying, though? Because, I mean, even Gonta would probably be like, no, I'll just fight Monokuma instead of killing Miu. You know? Gonta's I would think, but Gonta is kind of... An idiot. He's Gonta, so. I hate to speak ill of the dead, but he was stupid, and now he's dead. Yeah. He's yeah, got I'm... even dumber somehow. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I've never seen this machine, but I've trained with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. What reckless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. You know... But wow, is this really a simulator? I feel like it's too elaborate. No way it's real. I mean, what would it even operate? Yeah, yeah there it is. A clue. <laughs> I'm right, I'm right, I'm right. There's the proof. That is weird. At that moment... Yeah. What? Come look at this. Huh? Something wrong? Well... I found this in the back. Huh? What is this? A file? The Gopher Project. Yeah, the only thing that makes me think no to the space thing is the Gopher Project, which True. says that we're probably underground. But if we're underground, what would it operate? I don't know. A drill? I don't know. <laughs> the Gopher Project. I don't like gophers. I'm scared of them. Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of that. So this file has information about the project. What? So what does it say? Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. I'll read it. Uh, um... Let's see. The Gopher Project. That's all it says. All right, sorry. <laughs> the last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with this imperative project are boys and girls of exceptional talent. It sounds familiar. Yeah, ultimates, okay. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. That's it? Hey! 
Well, what about the rest of it? What does it say? Hey. Don't tease us. Just say it already. Well, that's... The rest of it is blacked out. I can't read any further. I wonder if you could if you had, like, one of those, like, invisible ink reading pens or something. Like a black something. light or something? Yeah. yeah. What did you say? Damn. Did Monokuma do this? God, he's a screw him with us. Mm. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent is referring to us? Hey. And what could the seeds of future hope mean? And what's this about the new world? Is this... This is like Noah's Ark. Oh yeah, didn't you say that like way in the beginning? Yeah. <laughs> Something about this could be an ark going to a different planet. Alright. Gopher makes you think underground, because gophers go underground, right? Okay, well I have a way to propagate both of our theories. Okay. Build a spaceship underground. When the asteroids crack the Earth open, it can just drive on out. <laughs> like, I... Maybe it doesn't make too much sense, but it kind of... That's where my mind is gone immediately. It's not a bad theory. That I mean, could make sense. The world the world is going to be shattered. You can't shoot a spaceship into the air. I'm, I'm just so curious the timeline of this, because we know the world was ended in the first and second games. But when did the meteorites come? Because the meteorites look like they come while the world's still intact, but you never hear anything about meteorites in the first or second game, do you? So I, I'm curious about the timeline. When do these meteorites hit? Do we just not hear about them just because you don't need to? In the nah, first Dang Rampa doesn't retcon like that. We'll see, I guess. But Noah's Ark. Yeah, did I literally say something like that? Yeah, yeah, you did. Oh. Noah's Ark. Because. Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. Oh. So you could. It could be a spaceship thing. That would make it logical. Gopher wood. I'm thinking of the gopher animal. So. Is that what, is that has is that like a purposeful misinterpretation this whole time? Maybe maybe it's supposed to make you think you're underground, but you are in a space. Is that even how Gopher is spelled? Like if you look up Gopher, would it be G O F E R or like? I think so. Yeah. Put it put it on screen because that's well, how I would spell it. Yeah, <laughs> I probably do two Fs. What? No. Oh yeah, you're right. Gopher. Okay. Of course, it's just a story from the Bible. But to choose that name in particular, another. Thing, drawing attention to your like heaven and yeah. hell theory about like the angel and the devil you well, see. just a second ago they were talking about heaven and hell and whatever else during the trial or during the and, and even a lot of the background music is named something like that like what's this one named living, living in, in a, a lazy, lazy parallel world uh, well, I don't really know <laughs> well I know some of them say stuff that could be interpreted that way <laughs> right hmm. it does seem related so are we trying to go to like a distant planet maybe Something? Like a new... Oh, okay, that's... I'm excited. Like just a new Earth? But how is all of this related to the Academy? To us? Yeah. Why is Monokuma on it? <laughs> to us, none of that makes any sense. Well... If we find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in this lab. It must be in the other room. Right. So it must be somewhere else. We gotta go look for it first. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So... I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that, because we got to find the flashback light. Oh, wait. I just had a theory about what this thing is. What? I'll tell you in a second. Okay, a flashback light, our last hope. But it's something that Monokuma created. I don't want to depend on something that Monokuma's touched. So there's nothing we can do. There's no other way to restore our enemies, our memories. I'm curious if this is an artificial gravity device. It says it's a planetarium. What's a planetarium mean? <laughs> like, you know those glass bottles people grow ecosystems in? I'm pretty sure that's a planetarium. Okay. Let's see what it says. It's a large machine, perhaps for a planetarium. You can project, never mind, stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. Well, there's got to be gravity things somewhere if we're in space. That would be cool if we were in space the whole time and you predicted it like forever ago. Uh, yeah, because I'm a genius. Genius. Ja, 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 genius. <laughs> I still don't understand why the stars are different. So we're either super in the future or super far in space. Yeah. Because Kaido said he's like, the stars don't look familiar and blah, blah, blah. I'm Kaido. Hi. But I mean, we're thinking the sky's a screen anyway. Mm, but anyway, it was true. Gonta who said the stars weren't familiar. Oh, well, misinformation, guys. I love spreading it. <laughs> All right, well, let's go see where this other key leads. I don't remember there being any mysterious objects here. Can you think of anywhere else? I just think up. Just go up and up and up and up. Oh, I know where the key goes. Oh, oh yeah, there was literally a door over here. Yeah. 
Oh, we're using this one again. Oh. Okay. Where's the scientific one go? Huh. The key works, but it won't turn. <laughs> Run! Run! It's a Run! bomb! Could it be... <laughs> Ticking? Get out of there! Sensing danger, I hurriedly backed away from the door, and then... Back up further. <laughs> oh. It exploded! That looks like Kokichi's lab or something. Yeah. A trap? That was dangerous. Hmm. Could have been really hurt. Yeah, if there's a trap, this is Kokichi's, you Was know? that just a murder attempt? Either his or Rentaro's. It has to be. From the look of this door, it must be an ultimate lab. Whose lab is this? There are only a few of us left who don't have a lab yet. All right. I should check inside! When I turn the knob... Use the other key. It won't open. Use the key. A Monokuma! Let me in, Mono Bro. Yeah, yeah! Oh, oh. Rantaros. Okay. Okay. No! That research lab is closed because its owner is dead. Huh? The owner's dead? Hey, um... Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, then that lab will remain closed. That's... That's the first time I'm hearing this. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember hearing that either. Yeah. That's because this is the first time I've mentioned it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. I'd like to file a complaint with the HR. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, this lab belongs to someone who died. And it has to be Rentaro's. Yeah. Is this Rentaro's lab? What the heck was he the ultimate <laughs> of? Aww. How disappointing. You'd know what his talent was if you went in his lab. <laughs> It'd be quite a dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. Huh? W what does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? To tell you the truth... That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh, no. oh well, what a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. <laughs> so he was just like, F you, Monokuma! <laughs> I hate you! Well, this looks like ultimate serial killer or something. Yeah, like literally, like ultimate arsonist. Torturer. Ultimate no, not arsonist. There's too many Ult sharp weapons here. Ultimate purge guy. Rentaro's lab. I am curious about his talent, but too late now. Can we just try our future key on it? No. <laughs> Get over here, you little dancing fella! Yo, look at him! Whoa! He's I, I straight schmoovin'! Just forget the freaking button. How the punch one? There we go. I always forget you can punch! Yeah. That's how you're supposed to get mono coins. How come you never reminded me? I love punching things. Well, because it takes too long, honestly. I mean, I really want to see what's in there. That sucks. Oh, we will. The greenery is completely gone. This place really feels mechanical now. It looks like construction is almost done, but what happens then? That's probably what Kokichi's waiting for. Hmm. An ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? Yeah, li just looking at these machines, like, like, what is that? That looks new over there. They got, like, a whole facility. Maybe that's where we're going. Maybe. Oh, yeah, it is where we're going. Look at the map. Oh, wow, yeah. What would Man, all the machines Rintaro's be lab. for? I would guess, like, ultimate serial killer or something. I mean, just from base appearance, that's what it makes you think. Or, like, just ultimate despair again. Nah, I don't think it'd be him. I mean, yeah, you seem pretty chill. Who's over here? Oh, my God, you blend in. <laughs> that's mean. <laughs> But we only got two last keys. We would have been better off with a thief's key and a magic key. Huh? Why is that? Um. Oh, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. But how many times has this happened now? What do you mean? Uh. The class trial ends, we get Monokuma's prizes, and then we search for a new area. You know, the same flow, over and over. I wonder if I'll die next. <laughs> it's possible. And the fact that all the murders keep happening in the areas we discover... <laughs> You're getting too meta! I sort of thought, maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. Mm-hmm. But... To solve the mystery of this academy, we're gonna have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Um, of course, I know we need to do that too. Alright! I'm just going to stop worrying about it! No, I think you're right, Samugi, and we should just not. <laughs> yeah. We need to live for Gonta and everyone else, and escape this place! Okay. Yeah, that's right. Um, Alright. I was hiccuping, sorry. Uh, okay. Then I'll plainly look around the school. I'll let you know if I find anything. Go, Samugi, go! Well, thanks, I guess. Yeah. I don't think you will, though. 
what is what is the deal with Kibo's lab? Like that was never related to anything, and he doesn't even want it. Uh, I'm sure it'll be revealed later. Um, there aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monokuma gave us, correct? There is a door in that wall. Perhaps we can get in. There's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. What did this look like before? I don't know. I, I like never paid attention to this spot before. Looks like a door, but I don't think I could open this with my bare hands. Yeah, I wouldn't think so. You ain't Ganta, bro. There's a keyhole. You're, You're not, not that, that guy, guy pal. pal. You're just not that guy. Oh, here it is. You're not that guy, pal. I love that video. It's so goofy. Oh, boy. That sound. Was it the giant door unlocking? Ultimate Iron Man. Cyber Courtyard. What is this place? This is... I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. Still might. It took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. <laughs> uh oh. Oh my god. So, Kokichi's lab has got to be here. Yeah? I mean, there's no other possibility. Unless it's revealed in the sixth chapter. Oh, <laughs> there you are. You move quick. I just play such a maze, though. Hmm. This is different from the other places we've seen so far. In this maze like hallway, perhaps it's to defend the building that it leads to. Maybe. Where is it? There's a big open space. I feel like I just entered a completely different game. Like a dungeon crawler sort I of thing. I feel like in an hour we'll see a dead body in the middle of that room. <laughs> yeah. Probably. I hate to be pessimistic, but... That's not pessimistic. That's just how it goes. Peek out that. I want to see. It's probably just a bright green light. Well... That's something. What is this? This shutter is huge. And we'll find out. In the next episode! In the next episode! Thank you guys for watching this video. <laughs> guys, we're gonna wrap this one up quick, okay? Would you rather be a cheeseburger or a hot dog? Answer now, goodbye!